today on SEC Inside, the South Carolina women's basketball Gamecocks. Don Staley is accomplished even by the towering standards of a basketball Hall of Famer. Three Final Fours at Virginia. National Player of the Year, twice. Perennial WNBA All-Star. Three Olympic gold medals. For as long as I've played basketball or coached basketball, it's truly been out of the love. Like, it's truly my passion. It is what I'm supposed to be doing. Staley's success has continued as a coach. She won two more gold medals as an assistant, one as a head coach, and has turned South Carolina into a powerhouse. South Carolina makes history. The first team to win four straight SEC tournament titles. Fifth time in six years, the Gamecocks will cut down the net at the SEC tournament. It's becoming a rite of passage. South Carolina will cut down the net as the Gamecocks have won their sixth SEC tournament title in the last seven years. To win this league the way you did, to win the tournament the way you did, super proud, super proud. The 2022 SEC tournament is in Nashville, and Coach Staley and her team have some fun promoting the event. This is the final SEC tournament for the South Carolina seniors. <laughs> so all I need is y'all's two syllabis, and then we got to apply for graduation, and then I need your ring sizes. Ring sizes? Hey, so, it's getting real! Y'all have three options. So this is the male, and then you have like the, the female version. And then for the female rings, you have two different versions, this one and then this one. So the left side is the male? Yes, this yeah. is the male one. Is this the one you want? Mm -hmm. Me okay. too, because them look bigger. Okay. <laughs> the Gamecocks are thinking about more jewelry than graduation rings. South Carolina won the national championship in 2017, and they aim to do it again. And the Gamecocks, for the first time in school history, NCAA. But they are not the only team with championship aspirations. So the Gamecocks open the season with a challenging schedule of top teams. will try it and knock down a two. Boston is piling up the points now. And the number one team knocks off number two. South Carolina beats UConn here in the Bahamas. Hey, hey, what I tell you Believe in us. Number one, baby. Number one. South Carolina is most looking forward to a Final Four rematch with Stanford. Into Green. Brink is trapped, loses it. Boston has it, squeezes it to Beal. Two seconds left. Beal misses Boston. No! Aaliyah Boston's follow just misses at the buzzer. Stanford escapes. Stanford is headed to the national championship game. Austin charges in. And another steal from Anderson. Anderson picking pockets. South Carolina stays undefeated with a sparkling second half against Stanford. 
The Gamecocks beat five top 10 teams, but they suffer a letdown against unranked Missouri. Missouri down by one, final seconds overtime. Down the four, Hanson in trouble. Hanson floats it up and drops it in. Missouri's on top, Missouri's gonna win. Celebration at Mizzou Arena. The Tigers have knocked off number one, South Carolina. Back in Columbia, Dawn Staley concentrates on keeping her team focused. Stay's right there. Yo, what we want? You got one, you got one person on you. One person on you. Go score! We don't know what's gonna happen if you pass the ball. Near turnover. You got two feet in the paint with one person playing behind you. Good, come on, get it, get it, get it, get get there, get there, get there. Got the kick out, got the kick out. You guys, you guys want to do what you want to do, and it doesn't work out your way. It doesn't. It doesn't. Keep it clean. I don't care if he's not there. They're going to be there. This post player's going to be protecting. So don't come down here. Don't come down here mulling it up. We don't know where to go. When we worry about taking good shots and misses, then we got issues. When we don't worry about bad shots and misses, that's what the issue is. Really, we put our focus on the wrong thing. Good shot. You, nine out of 10 times, you're gonna make it. Don't be mad at the one miss. It's the other stuff. It's the other stuff that we muck up that we should be crying mad at. Cause that's the stuff that I'm crying mad at. South Carolina can get back to winning by toppling Mississippi State. Underway in Columbia. Zaya Cook puts it on the floor, pulls up from 16, got it. And there's a good start for Zaya Cook to tie the game at two. Ball knocked loose and stolen away by the game cop. Here's Henny in traffic. Finds Zakaria Saxon on the break. She will lay it up and in, and South Carolina claims its first lead at four to two. Up top of it is Danae Carter. Now feeds it inside, and there's a layup by Anastasia Hayes to tie the game at six. We just got to apply a little bit more pressure. They're, they're just running through their, their stuff, you know, too smoothly, okay? Don't foul, don't foul, don't come up the floor. Let them bring it to us. Drives the baseline, swatted away by Aaliyah Boston. Boston, second in the SEC with 41 blocks coming in, gets her first there to deny Jackson. South Carolina with an eight point lead, currently on a 10 nothing run. Russell left side in front of the state bench. Drives to shy the foul line. Jumpers up and in. She's foul. Count the basket. Chance for a three-point play. They dominate the start of the game. But the Bulldogs hit a buzzer beater. It gives them momentum they carry into the second quarter. Shot clock at 10. The ball just not moving anywhere. And then she throws it away. And here's going to be an uncontested layup for Ja'Kayla Jordan. And just like that, the lead down to four at 25-21. And Coach Daly is furious. She's going to burn a timeout. Be patient, little girl. Just be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Their lead is gone, but their spirit is unbroken. Hey, hey, hey! Corner, corner, corner! The Gamecocks listen to their coach, stay in control, find the open shooter, hit from distance. Quickly down the floor, long pass to Saxon. She will catch, shoot, and score in traffic. And the Gamecocks lead 37 to 29. Gamecocks on the 7 0 run, the last minute and a half. Handed off up top, ball knocked away and stolen by Vicaria Saxon. Saxon will go coast to coast. Left handed layup is good, and the Gamecocks lead 43 35. 10 seconds now. Up top to Boston. Boston hands it back to Henderson. Henderson dribbling left side. 
Feeds it to Boston. Boston drives the lane. In the paint. Jumper up and in at the buzzer. Aaliyah Boston will put the Gamecocks on top by 10 with a shot at the buzzer. And that's how the first half will end here in Columbia. Don't let down, guys. Don't let down. Don't let down. South Carolina learns from their mistakes. The troubles of the first half are long gone. And their second half lead grows. Gamecocks have it. Henderson drives into the lane. It opens for her. She lays it up and in. Destiny Henderson found an opening, and the Gamecocks have their largest lead. It's 52 to 37. Henderson drives in the lane. Bounce pass after a jump to Saxton, and she'll finish. What a play by Henderson. Saxton with 13 points, and the Gamecocks on a roll. It's a 7-0 run. 20 seconds to play at Colonial Life Arena. South Carolina wins its fourth straight against Mississippi State. There's the horn. South Carolina wins it 80-68 and bounces back from their first loss of the season with a win against their rival from Starkville. We're saying the same thing after every game for these turnovers. We just make really bad decisions. Well, yeah, we can say, but we won, right? When you say, but we won, it ain't gonna always happen that way because people are gonna make you pay for turning that ball over. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good job, good job, good job, let's go. Let's get our feet moving, let's get our feet moving, let's go. Yes, corner, I'm diving. Excellent. It's good. Not bad. Good, Ben. Good, Ben. Yup, 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 Ben. Good, good, good. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yes. Good, good yes. penetration. Yes. 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 Don't force it. Don't force it. Just let it go. Decisions, guys. Decisions. Decisions. Here we go. Listen, we're not going to take our foot off the gas. OK? We're not going to do that. Here we go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. The South Carolina women keep building momentum as the season goes on. The Gamecocks become the first team in women's basketball to beat three Hall of Fame coaches in one season. Gino Oriyama, Tara Vanderveer, and Kim Mulkey. Now let's do that SEC match. Like, that is fine. Like, that's what it is. And you get a little extra because of who we are. We've sustained in this league. We've sustained success in this league, man. And people are going to keep coming at us. Every day is going to be a dog fight. So we just, we just have to fight. She's already leaning. That's why my hand is where it's at. Right. You can't you can't put your hand up in there. Because the first thing they're gonna do is this. Yeah. So instead of instead of straightening your arm out, yeah. you take your arm this way. When you straight okay. when you straighten it out, she's gonna go backwards. But yeah. when you go this way, she's gonna pull with you. That's, those are the type of actions that you're gonna see for the rest of your career. So you gotta get used to it. You gotta be able to handle it. Okay, tell me uh, three things about Kentucky. They crashed the board, so we got to box out. Everybody like to score on the team, so just play defense, stay down, be disciplined, box them out, attack their feet, just play our game. Okay, good. That's good. Good, guys. With this Kentucky team, I know you've had a lot of success historically against the Wildcats, especially in recent seasons, but what makes this team perhaps different in your mind that might present it a more challenge, so to speak, tomorrow at home? I mean, I mean, Kentucky's always a, a really good challenge for us. No matter, you know, what what our record is against them, they're playing their best basketball of the season, in my opinion. We welcome you back to Colonial Life Arena. First of two meetings during the regular season every year with the Kentucky Wildcats. Another top 25 showdown for South Carolina, the eighth-ranked opponent already this season. We're going to have to work really hard to win. They've got great players. They're one of the few teams that have beat us here. The 70th meeting, South Carolina has won 13 
of the last 14, including a pair of wins last year. Ball in the air, tip back to Destiny Henderson, and the Gamecocks have it. We're underway at Colonial Life Arena. Kentucky comes out in the man-to-man. -man. Zaya Cook continues making little range jump shots. This is a physical South Carolina team. They're big, they're long, they're in tremendous condition. Here's Zaya Cook, drives, goes underneath the Boston. She will lay it up and in, and the Gamecocks reclaim the lead. Six to five, great look by Zaya on the dribble drive. Boston with the backdoor cut, Carolina back on top. Behind the dynamic Ryan Howard, Kentucky jumps out to the early lead. Howard will drive right to the basket, float it up off the glass and in, and that was way too easy. The Gamecocks having trouble picking up their man on the switch. He's going to have to figure something out here in a hurry. Wildcats are three for three from three-point range, and two of them have been wide open. We have stars. We've got a box out. We're just hanging out. They got, they got two big out threes on the rebound. Okay? Boston scores on the line. Right now, they're on a 6-0 run. The Wildcats fight, but by the second quarter, the South Carolina offense is unstoppable. Look at that agility and that mobility. It's a well-connected offense. They're taking shots where they're supposed to take them, and the right people are taking the shot. Good pace, okay? Don't look good. Just keep everything in front of you. Test it. Don't let it get behind. Okay? If don't panic, if they get by, you don't panic. Okay? Defense! 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 Got to attack right here. Benton goes after Boston, who knocks it out of bounds. Zion Cook leads all scorers with 19. The Gamecocks cruise to victory. South Carolina will pick up its eighth win against a ranked opponent this year and their fifth consecutive win over the Kentucky Wildcats as they knock off number 21 Kentucky here at Colonial Life Arena. 74 to 54 to improve the 15 and 1, 3 and 1 in the SEC. Absolutely wonderful. This is great. This is great. Keep it up. Everybody come. Fill up this place. Fill it up. Fill it up. started to get carried away by a thought or a story, I want you to come back to your hands, back to the breath. Nothing else matters right now. Start with the extension, come in nice and slow, and then widen that knee each time you come in. Breathe in, breathe out. Eyes are closed, nothing else matters. The only thing that matters right now is your hands and your breath. The focus on mind, body, and flexibility is very zen. The next day, the Gamecocks are ready for a whole different mindset. Hey, let's get after it. We got AM in two days. We're back at it. On to another one. Let's go. Together. So, hey, y'all have a choice. Y'all have a choice. So, attack it. I know it hurts. I know. Further the distance, the harder it's going to be. Good, make that weight rattle a little bit. Good stuff, y'all. Let's get after this. Have a great practice. Eat, drink some water, please. Together. Can you tell me the ten um, non-negotiables? Yeah. So transition push to score. Man zone wearing rocket into double jag or just double jag. Presso wearing bounce. Wow, you're Make miss defense. wearing forty. Ready for all the defense to tell the free throw line wearing forty. Ball screen defense wear hard hedging over. Uh, we're chasing all the others, but Hawk, we're chase player side. Keeps the win, pressure the ball, dominate the boards, limit three-point baskets, no personnel. Transition D, transition O, points in the paint, post touches, guard direct line drives, win bench production. Yeah. Boom. I want uh, three to do the rest of them. Dominate the boards, pressure the ball, transition O, transition D, post touches, uh, straight line drives, uh, no personnel. Win bench. 
Oh, Lemon Three and. Wait a minute. She said all of them. Yeah. What did I say? You said points in the paint. What is it? You said points in the paint. Points in the paint. I'm just saying. I didn't. I can't. Did I get them all? You got them all. Whatever, Bree. Look at this. Play hard. Play smart. Play disciplined. Play back like champions. Play together. They're all in three in the league. They dropped out of the top 25. Nothing. Right. So they're coming in here. They gotta, they gotta write the ship, and the what better way to write the ship than to get us, okay? Not to mention that we lost our regular season championship to them last year, okay? Yeah. We gotta pay back on this one, okay? Here you go, guys! Get on three, one, two, three! Together, yeah, start passing! Here you go! But you got your beans and you got two chicken wings. The South Carolina Gamecocks are coming off a blowout win against a nationally ranked rival. And now they face a team hungry to get back on track. Tonight's top ranked South Carolina Gamecocks take on the Aggies from Texas A&M University. Here we go. Timothy Green will toss the ball in the air. Tip is controlled by the Gamecocks moving left to right. We're underway at Colonial Life Arena. Boston puts it on the floor, trying to back her way in on the baseline. Spins to her right, puts it off the glass and in. Good start for Boston, and the Gamecocks lead it 2 to nothing. If you get it, we should be able to go high low to the village. Yeah, you got to go strong, guys. You got to go strong. Got to go strong. Carolina ball right side, up top, high post to Boston. Boston dumps it down low, Cardozo. Cardozo off the window for two, off the feed from Boston, and the Gamecocks lead 16 to 4. First point for Cardozo. South Carolina leads by as much as 12, but it's still not enough to prevent a comeback. And we're tied at 26, back where we started from. First time tonight, the Gamecocks do not have the lead. Some of you all are not shooting the ball when you're supposed to shoot the ball. Once it goes in and we're moving that thing around, you gotta take a shot that's fluid in our offense. Well, you're going to have her, or you're going to have Zion, boy, shot right here, okay? If they don't stop that, run it again. And run it again. Don Staley said, this team's got to not be afraid to shoot the ball. Looking inside for Boston, but she's getting pushed around. Henny, right wing three. Bang, got it. Destiny Henderson puts the Gamecocks back on top. It's 29-26. Anderson will try a three right wing, bang! And the Gamecocks lead 34-26 as the Gamecocks have quickly gone on an 8-0 run. Zaya dribbling to her right, to the right baseline. Feeds it inside to Saxton, beats her man and lays it in. And it's 38-26. The Gamecocks have matched their largest lead with a 12-0 run. South Carolina loves to play in Colonial Life. That is 18 straight home victories for the South Carolina Gamecocks and their 16th win on the season. Beating Texas A&M is the Gamecocks' fifth win this season over a coach with a national championship. 
That has not been done in more than 20 years. The Gamecocks are determined to stay number one and bring another trophy to Columbia.